Hey guys, what's up? It's Parker York Smith, your senior editor of gentslounge.com, here with another DIY video for you. Today we are going to be talking about customizing your clothes with pins. So pins are awesome because they can help you take an otherwise basic or standard outfit and turn it into something that's a lot more custom to you. You can add something that's fun, you can add something that's meaningful, you can add something that's, you know, pretty much whatever you want it to be. Pins are great because they have been around forever, so they're a really fun thing for you to be able to collect. You can buy vintage pins, you can get fresh new pins made custom, anything you want. It could be like the president wear an American flag pin. Back in the day, they used to give out pins at when it was like your 30th anniversary at work or if you were part of a members only club. It was a way for you to pronounce your status by wearing it right on your lapel. And it's still that way, but it's cool now because you can do things in a lot more of a fun way. There's a lot more options, you know. There's coffee, there's one, this one literally just says, sure, I like fun. I mean, there's tons of different options out there. There's vintage pins, tons of cool stuff. It's what, one thing that I really like to do is when I travel around, I try to always make sure that I find a pin somewhere that's representative of where I went because it's a cool way for me to remember that trip. You can wear them with a blazer or a suit like I am right now. Um, you can wear them with a denim jacket. You can wear them with a leather jacket. I've even seen people just wear them in a hat. I've seen people wear them in a t-shirt, like on the breast pocket or something like that. Just a fun way to customize your stuff. It's really simple. You're just gonna add a little piece of flair. Kind of like in punk rock, how everyone puts patches all over their leather jacket or the back of their denim vest or whatever. This is a basically a similar thing to that, except you're doing it in a much classier way, much more gentlemanly way, but still adding your own personality, adding your own flair. So as fun as these are, there are a couple of kind of rules that you probably want to abide by. If you're wearing a blazer, I would never recommend wearing more than one pin. You want to keep it a little bit more classy. Right now, you're going to see a buttonhole in the lapel of your jacket. That's exactly where you want a lapel pin to go can like where you would put a corsage or something like that at a wedding or at prom or whatever. If you're gonna wear pins in your blazer or in your suit, you probably want to plan on keeping it a little bit more classy like at the office, like a actual flower, like a lapel flower like this. It's a little bit more flashy. It's a little bit more intense. You probably don't wanna be wearing that to work unless like maybe on casual Friday just with like a blazer and some jeans. Something like this, which is a deer, it's a little bit more classy. It's a, like a little bit more simple, not quite as loud as the flower, that's gonna be better suited. Again, this is probably a little bit bright for the office, unless you work in a really cool work environment. But with a suit or a blazer, definitely wanna keep things small and subtle. You don't wanna go big and loud and bright. Kinda of like with everything. So whereas there are a couple of the rules, like I said, with blazers or suits, the nice thing about it is that with denim or with a leather jacket, you can go wild. Wear as many as you want. Feel free to showcase your personality. If that means only one in a denim jacket, that's totally cool, but if that means wearing 10, that's totally fine as well. One of the greatest parts about pins on a denim or a leather jacket when you're wearing a bunch, or even one on a blazer, honestly, it's going to be a conversation starter. Like, imagine when you meet a guy with a full sleeve of tattoos, like, probably you're going to want to ask him about what his tattoos mean or why he got the specific things that he got. That's kind of the same thing that's going to go on with your pins. Like, someone's going to come up and say like, whoa, why do you have a welcome to Los Angeles pin? And you're gonna say, oh, I had the best time in Los Angeles, or I, or I live in Los Angeles, or whatever. You know, it's gonna allow you to start conversations with people, it's gonna, you know, create fun moments when you're talking to people about what you're wearing. So guys, that's pretty much it. Pins are super fun. Uh, remember, if you're wearing a blazer or a suit, probably only wanna wear one. If you're wearing denim or leather, go crazy. Let it showcase your personality. There's not really any wrong way to do it. You can go wild, you can wear one, you can really do whatever you want, it's up to you. Um, if you scroll down below, we're gonna link a couple of our favorite stores that sell really cool pins. It's a fun way for you to get started. They're really cheap and easy to start building a collection of. And that's pretty much it. So again, I'm Parker York Smith, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Uh, we'll just see you next time. <laughs>